Guys, I've just finished editing this video, but oh my god, I've just seen this on my mate's story. I have to put this in. Wait, I'm waiting to click on it. Here we go. Wait, we got so. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today is the double upload day. I didn't upload yesterday as I just didn't get around to editing or anything. I had other things to do, other things on my plate. So we're about to edit. We are eating. So we've got strawberries, oats, and I've mixed some whey protein in and chia seeds. I went overboard on the chia seeds. And we've also got a coffee which has just steamed the lens up. <laughs> So today guys, we've got legs and biceps. What's going on guys, just finished editing this video and it's rendered and I'm uploading it now and I'm about to drink potentially the whole of this. So the aim at the moment is to increase the calories, try and get more calories in and try and build stronger. So we've got pineapple, mango and coconut smoothie and the macros on this. I think the 650, yeah, 650 calories in the whole thing. Uh, obviously a load of sugar, but it is, uh, sugar from fruits and we are about to train so it's all gucci let's hit this bulk a bit hard this time uh it's just gonna be like i don't know it's not really a bulk but i'm just gonna increase the calories stupidly this is a pre-workout potion that we're gonna make shadow x then we're gonna swallow a multivitamin swallow an omega-3 swallow a vitamin d a vitamin d um I'm not really sure what to think about this pre-workout. I've used it a few, a few times, but I'm just not really sure on what to think. So it's a strange one. Sometimes it gives me mad pumps and then sometimes it doesn't do anything. But maybe that is more dependent on my diet. I hate these flies so much. Fuck. We're in the gym. First exercise we're doing, barbell squats. I must say, it's so important to warm like your upper body up as well before you squat, even your wrists. My wrists absolutely killing when I go to grab the bar, so see if it's gonna go today. Just on my third warm up set, and then we're moving into the working sets. I think I'm gonna try, I was gonna do 120, but I think 115, which is a 5 kg increase. Let's get it. These are the scores we are about to destroy. We are going with 115, so I've got a 20, 20, 5, and a 2.5. Let's go, 5 times 5, we've got this. With a saucy voiceover, and we're starting off with the squats. Increased it by 5 kilograms again. We was going to go for 120, but we thought, YOLO, 115. Our calves were hurting. Well, it's under the calves, it's like the soleus muscle, if you guys know what that is. It's under the calves. They're, they're on fire at the moment from doing some sprints. I had to run somewhere the other day, and uh, yeah, it was basically sprinting. But yeah, 115, 5 times 5, pretty easy. Just finished the squats, managed to get 115 kg, 5 times 5. Happy with that, pretty happy with that. Next time we will put it up to 120, maybe 125 for like, a few sets and then drop it down. Might try something like that. Next up, got the lunges. Move to 14 kg and the goblet squat. Goblet squat, 24 kg. A little bit out of breath. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, into the hell superset. So once again, I've left every rep in, so you can see that, like there, I just went slightly off balance, and it's something that does occur. You will go off balance until you've done this so so much like if I drop back to eight kilograms which I think I started at the start on week one on legs biceps it'll be so much easier but here we're doing 14 kilograms with the lunges and then the goblet squats we're using 24 kilograms tips on this I'm gonna say chest up core tight and when you move to the heavier dumbbells you'll actually see that your shoulders actually burn holding them especially on like the fourth set this is my first set and you also will see your balance improves on second third and fourth set but if you do like go off balance don't be afraid to just drop the dumbbells and restart the set i mean just remember what rep you're on and just go back and restart it because once you've failed something once your body will know they say we do it next time. All right, on the goblet squats, I just like to come down here to 90 kilograms. 
90 kilograms. Oh, I'm tired. I am tired. 90 degrees. It's currently half past 12, half past midnight, and I'm getting this video up before I sleep so I can get back onto one, like, record and edit on the same day. Okay, on to the hamstring extension machine, whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> it's actually called the seated hamstring curl. Tiredness is hurting. Yeah, on to this. Last time, if you watched my last video, I said, like, oh, I didn't really like this, but I actually really like took time to work the seat position now and i managed to do 59 kilograms four times 10 which was an increase from last time and it felt good my knees didn't hurt as much they clicked slightly but they always do but it actually felt good all right on to the calf press as you can see all these exercises are in the wrong order by the way because the gym was pretty busy again um i need to start going earlier again but on this we banged it up another 5 kg 35 four times 10 all right this is the last uh, leg exercise that we did, 70, 73 I think it is on the thing, or is it 70, I don't know, 73 I think, four times. <laughs> to the biceps and this was a hard increase especially on incline dumbbells so I am doing them both at the same time at the moment but I do always go into single arm before I just give up on the set I will go into single arm curls as I always believe if you can still do one arm at a time still do it if it's poor form it's poor form isn't it um, it's up to you if you want to stop reset have a little rest pause but I did manage to get 22 kilograms which I'm doing now one set of 10 form lack towards the end um, Still got the contractions and tried to re be like really slow on the negatives coming down. As you can see, that was a horrible rep. And I think the last rep I do of this set, I laugh at myself. But we moved it to 22 again, 2 times 10 with one rest pause. And then we did 18 kilograms, 1 times 10. And the 18 kg at the end was like a 4 kilogram drop, but we really controlled the weight. All right, here we go on the easy curl biceps. Uh, we moved up to... 15 kg on the screenshot. I've got 12.5, but this is 15 kg of 10 and a 5. Um, now, actually, we did 15 kg two times 10, and then we moved it down to 12.5, uh, two times 10. So we got the four sets, but we moved down two and a half um, midway through the sets. My form's getting better, though. I'm not doing drag curls anymore. All right, hammer curls here 20 kilograms, four times 10. Felt pretty good, to be honest. Uh, it looks like I'm bouncing, it looks like I'm on a, a trampoline, but I'm just soft on my knees and I'm doing one at a time. But I am getting the contractions and I'm not exactly swinging it. But yeah, I'm sorry for the bouncing, I mean, it makes me feel a bit ill watching myself. It gives me um, the sensation of being seasick. But yeah, I'm getting the contractions, don't you worry about it. Always squeeze at the top. All right, into like a really big exercise for hitting the outer head of your bicep, and it's actually really underused. I've never seen anyone in this gym do this exercise, and it is a wide grip barbell curl. So I'm using 25 kg here, four times 10. And literally, I reset a few times in sets of this, because if you look in the mirror, like I said in the last video, you really can tell if your symmetry is on point or off point. All right, last exercise. These are like uh, skull crush bicep curls, overhead cable curls, and it really targets the peak. So we did 14 kg, 3 times 10, and 12, 1 times 10. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover, guys. Here are my scores. Enjoy the rest of the video. That was one of the hardest bicep and leg sessions ever. So it's currently 20 minutes past 9, and it's still light outside, and we're walking back now. We're going to eat, show you what we're going to eat, then we're going to edit and render and upload before we sleep. See you when we're back. What's going on guys, we're back home, cooking like 500 grams of white rice here. It's just the poverty stuff from Tesco, like 60p or something. And fucking hell, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, we're going to make another one of the Dan Craney specials. So also, um, I've got a little friend there. Fuck! It's probably the dairy. 
But no, it's already coming up before then. I think the tablets are starting to work though, definitely though. I see a, a difference overall, especially on my chest. Anyway guys, the funny thing is, this actual thing fits into my macros pretty easily. I am trying to hit like 4,000, 5,000 calories at the moment. I want to do it for like two weeks and see what happens to my body. Remember, it's all about trial and error and what works for one person doesn't always work for another person. So let's go mate, this damn thing. Look at the ice on that. It's going to be way better because it's proper cold this time. This time we are being tactical. We are using a sample from Body Power. This has got 25 grams of protein in and it's Belgian chocolate flavour. Last time I think we held back a little bit on the ice cream. So this time we ain't being no pussy. Easy. Mmm. So this is what we have so far. We've got the milk, which is B.O.B. milk. Protein. We've got the ice cream. And now I'm thinking, shall we spice it up and just put an egg in? Like, just with the shell on? But then I thought, no, that, that would be stupid. So next up we need to put the arrow in. Let's use half of it, see how it tastes. If we need to add more, we'll just throw it all in. A little break to check on the rice. Oh, where's all the water gone? Jesus Christ, there's so much rice there. Let's just admire for a second how good this looks as it starts to melt in my hand. It's final, guys. Everything's in there, but we need to add just a tad little more milk. Oh, oh God. Oh God, yeah. Oh God, that looks good. Oh my shitting God, that is good. Woohoo! That's more like it. Probably let you all down in the last video thinking I knew the recipe straight away, but holy shit, that's nice. Wow, you gotta try that, guys. So I put a scoop of vanilla in, BOB, don't know how much, just look how much you put in the video, um, packet of fudge brainy whey or whatever it was, and half an aero mint, blended up. Brilliant guys, got the right contrast of flavours, and this is all thanks to the man himself, Mr. Dan Craney. Thanks a lot guys, thanks a lot for watching um, this beautiful video, the rice is still cooking. Rice does take quite long to cook, we're going to put it with a can of sweet corn and also a can of tuna. Um, we've got a drink of that, you know, we've got a lot of catching up with calories to do and it's currently half past ten. We've got to render and upload this video and my computer's shit so it'll take like two hours. And the more I speak, the more render time it is. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, it's been Greg Lock Fitness. This is what you call a small bicep and this is what you call...